Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris. And in today's video, we're going to talk about eyeshadows. I have to apologize for my voice. This is not my usual voice. If you're here for the first time, bear with me. I am still healing from a very long cold and my throat is my biggest weakness. So I'm sorry about the voice throughout this video. The reason why I wanted to do this video is because I get a lot of questions that sound something like this. Hi Andrea, I've got green eyes. What eyeshadow palette do you recommend? Or I've got blue eyes. What eyeshadow palette do, I, do you recommend? And a lot of times, this is what I get from folks who have green or blue eyes. They tell me that whenever they use very saturated colors, it feels like they're wearing too much. Because obviously when you've got a color such as green or blue, you already have sort of a color on your face, even if it's not like a very saturated uh, blue or green. However, this is something that I get a lot. People that want to know exactly what color goes with their eyes. And I'm going to talk about different eyeshadow palettes, but quick disclaimer as usual. You will not know how a color looks on you until you actually try it. And in makeup, there are no rules anymore. I don't think it's ever been the case to have rules in makeup. This video is strictly for people who literally have no clue where to go. You go in Sephora and be like, oh my God, like I, I, I have absolutely no clue what to buy. I like them all. So here's where I come and give you just a little bit of guidance. This video is for those people. Now, let's get into it. Let's start with the brown eyes because it's going to be easy and quick. I think it's the most common eye color. Brown, such as myself, literally, if you have uh, brown eyes, anything works on you because it's not something that's, you know, super visible. Brown kind of fades with the look. It's a color that literally will make any eyeshadow work or better say any eyeshadow would work with brown eyes. In my opinion, if you want to make your brown eyes pop, of course you could use colors such as deep green. I love deep green colors. For example, I love, can you get closer please? I love this type of green where it's like a muted green. It's not too saturated. It's not like comic -y. It's not like, you know, weird looking on your eyes. Imagine this. I even did a smoky eye with this. Maybe my assistant can add this when she's editing. So this is so beautiful on brown eyes. It makes your eyes look so velvety, so beautiful, uh, and it pops, your, your brown is going to literally pop. The same goes with blue. I love a beautiful, like a rich blue for brown eyes. Every single color, every single palette that I'm going to talk about in this video works with brown eyes. In my opinion, it, when you have brown eyes, it's more of a question like, what is your skin color? Because having so many colors that work on you, the second criteria would be the color of your skin. A lot of people think that the color of the hair influences, I don't, in my opinion, the, the thing that influences the most the makeup would be the color of your skin. It doesn't matter if we do eyes, lips, bronzer, everything is influenced by the color of your skin not that much the color of your eye so with that being said if you have brown eyes everything will work there will be colors that will look better there will be colors that will look not as good but you can make every color work on you it's all about what you prefer so for example i am the type of gal that would love to use more muted colors. I don't like very saturated eyeshadows 
on my face. I feel like I have such a small face. I've got pretty strong features. I have my hair that's not too light. It's not too dark, but it's also not too light. I've got pretty strong eyebrows. Um, if I do very colorful makeup, like very colorful eyeshadow, it would have to be only one color in order for myself to feel good and to wear it with confidence, to really own that makeup. Other than that, I would wear a lot of like muted, like what I have on right now, which it's not very defined. Like you cannot look at this eye color and be like, mm, this is um, this is like a pink. No, it's not pink. It's not brown. It's somewhere in between, right? This is my maximum color that I would apply uh, on myself. Most of the times, my colors would be warmer tones such as these ones right here because these are the colors that sort of fade on my face because you can find the, these colors in my hair in my eyebrow in the color of my eye in in the shadows you can see like this is pretty much the shadow that i have in here so these colors really fade on me it's not the first thing that you see on my face if I would use this this would also work but if I would use this you would totally see it because it's not you know it's not it's still something that suits me but it's not within my color palette right it's not a color that you could see in my skin my eye or my hair so I like to use more like these more like these colors mixed so that I can create more of what I like to call a beautifying makeup where I could play with shadows and light and give more volume or shrink certain parts of my eye. That's how I like to play with the eyes. But I'm sure that people who are watching this channel, you know, there, there can be people who absolutely love a good color on their eye and they don't know what to use. So. I hope I'm making myself clear about brown eyes when I say that literally everything works. You just need to try it. For blue and green and hazel, it's a little bit different. Thankfully, I have my assistant today who will let me apply makeup on her hazel eyes so you would see the difference. So I present you my beautiful assistant, Antonia. Uh, she's got beautiful hazel eyes. Um, I, I have to admit, I thought she had brown eyes, but they're a hazel. And in order to just make that color pop, we're gonna use this eyeshadow palette. This is from Dior. And she actually challenged me because she was like, I don't like this eyeshadow palette. And I'm like, well, this is your, these are your colors. And then we tested them. She's like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> so I am going to start with this color right here. I think it's a nice base. I, I hope you already prepped your eyelids, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Got a little bit of concealer. Okay, close. I place it all over the eyelid, but then I also go a little bit in the crease. So this is the difference basically when you do makeup on someone that is 15 years old. Now I'm joking, she is not 15. She's a little bit older than me. <laughs> but she looks very young and her skin obviously is very, very nice and tight. So, just the makeup is gonna look different. I'm going to take this, this color, and get it at the outer corner. Okay. Okay, so I'm applying this. <laughs> I'm focusing. She's like, talk. <laughs> Open your eyes and look in front. So obviously this is just a shape, right? 
Then I'm going to take the color in the middle. It's more of a blue. I'm going to get this in the crease. I really, really love this wash of color on her. Now I'm going to take a very, very pretty pencil. This is from Sweet. And I think that this is the exact type of pencil that you would use, like the, the exact type of color you would use, um, you know, for green eyes. Look down. So I've applied the pencil at the base of the lashes, close, and now I just smudge it, I try to smudge it with the, the other side, but it's just too hard, so we're going to go with the, with the brush, look down. Taking back this color. And we'll get it on top of this that we've just applied. It's going to be such a nice mix. Great. I really love this makeup on her. It really brings the green, the hazel in her eyes. I think you have more like green eyes than hazel. I wouldn't call this hazel eye, but whatever. She said, I have hazel eyes. Okay, okay, you have hazel eyes. You know what, as a last, where should I put it? As a last color, I'm gonna take this, because it's just such a nice color. Can you look down for me? Sparkly, sparkle moment. A great quick option uh, for green eyes. Obviously, if you want something that's, you know, more intense, it turned out to be everything I wanted. Now, when it comes to green eyes, I think that in general, if you want to really make your eyes pop, because that's the difficult part, right? Because in order to do a beautifying makeup, it's all clear for you. You need to find the colors that you have on your face, in your hair, in your eyebrows, uh, in your skin. Those are the colors that would definitely look great on you. But if you want to play literally with colors and you want to know which colors will look great on you, everything that has a little bit of pink, a little bit of burgundy, that's very complementary to green eyes and it's going to make your eyes pop. Like, everything in here will just look fantastic on you. This palette in particular, I really love to use on green eyes. This is the Backstage from Dior in 004 Rosewood Neutrals. Another palette that I think it's absolutely stunning for green eyes would be this. This is the Retro palette from Natasha Denona. For green eyes, especially the first nine colors here, like the first three rows, I think they're absolutely spectacular. What's really great about this palette is that blue and green eyes can use this. If you have blue eyes, I would definitely go more towards these colors, although this is a little bit too red, it has a little bit too much red for blue eyes, but you know, these I could definitely use on blue eyes, this, this, you know, it's, this is universally beautifying colors. Um, but then all the pinks, everything that has a red undertone, I think it's gorgeous on green eyes because it's complementary. It's gonna bring the green and the eyes forward. This cool neutrals, it's also something that I love from your backstage to use on green eyes. It's very, very soft. Obviously, it depends on your preferences, but in my opinion, this being so nice and soft 
but still it has that coolness to it. It will make your eyes just pop. I love, love, love this eyeshadow palette. And these Dior Backstage I carry in my makeup kit. I think they're absolutely great, easy to use, easy to blend. Charlotte Tilbury has a lot of good eyeshadows, but I was checking online to see you know, which colors, which eyeshadows uh, are available because I did not want to tease you with stuff that are not available and I couldn't find a lot of stuff available. Obviously, Pillow Talk would work so beautiful with both green and blue eyes because it's, it's such a great universal palette that can be used on literally anyone. Look how gorgeous Pillow Talk is. It's like soft. It looks like it's what I have on my eyes, but unfortunately that's not how colors translate. So this is a lot lighter than what you see on my eyes. Believe it or not, but on my eyes I've got the retro palette. And I filmed the eye look so uh, you can see it step by step. Uh, I've started by applying a touch of concealer on the eyelids and the reason why I need to apply a little bit of concealer on the eyelids when I do a pinch of color is because if I don't everything looks kind of brownish reddish on me so I have to first neutralize my eyelid and then come with the eyeshadow and then I was using as my base like the color that I wanted to have all over my eyelid would be a combination between Andy and Gogo -Go because Andy is more like a lilac, like a muted lilac, taupey, and then Gogo -Go has a lot more warmth to it. And I wanted something in between, so I mixed the two, applied all over the eyelid, and then this is something that looks good on me all the time when I apply something darker in the crease but not super dark because my eyes are already deep set so I was mixing the nude mauve and an apart so these two colors right here this one and this one to give the shadow and then to get the most out of your eyeshadow palette I've always suggested you guys to just take either one of those very thin brushes that you use to create your eyeliner shape or what I've used, I just took a brush that you would normally use for applying eyebrow product. So it's slightly angled and it's very thin and stiff. It's important for it to be stiff because it's going to help you have a more precise line. So what I did, I literally put this in a glass of water, like I dipped it a little bit, the tip in the water. I did not use setting spray or any makeup product, literally it's just water. And then I've touched the eyeshadow and it will give a different intensity, a lot, it will be a lot more intense than when you apply your eyeshadow with a brush like this or a brush like this so you could transform any of these eyeshadows into your eyeliner and literally anything would have worked as my eyeliner you could do the exact same thing dip your brush into water and use one of these very high shine pigment or glittery eyeshadows you could use them on top of it to give it a, a very nice effect. Basically, um, have that sparkle on top of it. It's just so beautiful, it's like a jewelry for the eye. I have applied also this color, Hello, all over my eyelid, like all over my eyelid, and then right here in the inner corner, I did a little bit of this psychedelic with a very small brush. Because I like the corner of my eye to be a little lighter. So that's how I have applied my makeup today. And then I added mascara. And as you can see, I, I recommended this palette for green eyes. But it looks really great uh, on my eye color. So it's really 
a matter of experimenting. Now let's talk about blue eyes. And you know, by now you know that I, I am a big, big, big fan of Natasha Denona eyeshadows in general. And I think that my dream palette is good for green and blue. I mean, Natasha herself has blue eyes and she loves, loves this palette. That's the reason why it's called uh, my dream palette. But in my opinion, for example, this, this, this whole row in here, this full row in here, this is absolutely stunning. Like the, these nine eyeshadows from here, they're absolutely stunning for blue eyes if you want to make your eyes pop. Again, you have to think about, okay, what is the complementary color to blue? It's orange, right? So you have to think about everything that has warmth. Coppery shades would be absolutely stunning on you. I know that not everyone would be comfortable with coppery, but think about, you don't have to think about like super saturated ones. You could think about colors like this, this row, right here would be absolutely stunning on blue eyes in my opinion. This is the warm neutrals from uh, backstage. And then this is also such a great palette for every single eye color, but blue in particular, because you've got, for example, you've got this color, um, it's called Prairie, Prairie, I, I don't know how you call it, but in combination with rustic right here like these two on blue eyes my god like every bronzy shade on on blue eyes is just unbelievable unbelievable i would darken the outer corner with this color right here it's called seed this is so beautiful like a rich chocolatey and then you've got a nice sheen like a a sh black sheen. This is a lot more pigmented than you would think. Eyeshadows from Natasha Denona, they translate a lot darker on the skin than you are used with. If, if you've never used Natasha Denona, when you will actually try it, you will realize it's a whole other level of saturation. These three colors right here, these are also fantastic for blue eyes. In my opinion, it depends on obviously the kind of blue you have, but if you have more like a gray blue, again, you do black at the base of the lashes, you smudge it, you would apply this all over, this um, at, you know, at the outer corner, in the crease, you apply this in between the lashes and on the lower lash, lash line gorgeous it would be such a good 90s vibe i love cool tones on blue eyes a lot i love cool tones but then also on the contrary i also love these very coppery shades because like i said it just makes your eyes pop in a way that is just out of this world this eyeshadow palette for example this is the copper charge from Charlotte Tilbury. This is stunning. And listen, you don't have to use the colors to their maximum capacity. For example, you could use this for everyday makeup. You don't have to apply a lot of it so you get the color that you see in the pan. But if you use just a tiny little bit and then you spread it like this, it's like just a nice warmth almost looks like bronzy and then you could take with your finger I'll take this I will get it right on top of it like so just to give it a, a little bit of shine and BAM you have your makeup of the day like it does not have to be complicated and you do not have to use every color in a palette all in the same time to make it really worth your money Two eyeshadow palettes that I want to talk about because they are just stunning, but definitely for true makeup lovers because, again, a lot of pigment. These colors right here, I would definitely, like the first nine, I would definitely apply for green eyes, but not only 
because it's not a lot of pigment. These are just gorgeous, gorgeous. And then you've got, this is mind blowing um, for an evening. You could just use black at the base of your lashes or in the outer corner and then do this all over your eyelids. Oh my God, it's a party on the eye. Another favorite of mine from Pat is this. This is more for blue eyes, except for this. I don't like to use any mauve, purple, lavender on blue eyes. I just, I find it, it looks a bit too much. Like there's just too much color going on. But this one, I would definitely use it on blue eyes. It translates a lot warmer than you see it in the pan. Also this, now I realize that in the video it looks, it looks like a, like a pink, but it's a, it's a, it's actually copper. This color right here. They're just so, so gorgeous. At the end of the day, you will use whatever you want, but keep in mind that you won't know until you try, right? I made sure that everything that I talked about is being categorized in my description box, just in case it was not clear for you which palette goes with which eye color, okay? So you have everything in my description box. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You find it useful and informative. Please don't forget to follow this channel for more videos and follow me on Instagram and TikTok and Snapchat and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!